a history of homecoming at Illinois State University in two-ish minutes. Illinois State University's first homecoming was in 1921, though we did have a kind of sort of large party in 1916 and then had a homecoming for returning World War I soldiers in 1918. The idea of homecoming was the brainchild of our sixth president, President Felmeli, Felmeli. It's pronounced Felmeli. Ah, Felmeli, thanks. During his tour of college campuses on the East Coast in 1921, he liked the idea so much that he brought it back to campus so that we could start our own homecoming traditions. Our very first official homecoming took place over the weekend of November 4th and 5th, 1921. There were class reunions, receptions, dancing, hot waffles. ISNU beat the Eastern Illinois teachers 42 to three to a record crowd. And some alumni dug up a five-year-old fruitcake out of the quad and ate it. In all, the first homecoming at Illinois State was a resounding success. Each homecoming added a new event, and by 1923, Illinois State students borrowed the idea from the University of Illinois of having a hobo parade. In 1927, the men's dormitory known as Smith House upped the ante by decorating the entire house, which led to a townwide contest for Best Decorated House. In 1933, high school bands were invited to play at the annual homecoming parade, and in 1936, Illinois State elected its first homecoming queen and court. As homecoming got bigger, it also changed. During World War II, the marching band was an all-female band, while the 50th anniversary of homecoming held a rock concert instead of a dance. While we don't elect a homecoming court anymore, we do have alumni royalty. Best decorations have moved from houses to all corners of the ISU campus. In 1981, Reggie Redbird was officially named. In 2000, Redbird runners laced up for the very first homecoming 5K, and in 2021, ISU football celebrates 125 years on the gridiron. From parades to parties, dances, waffles, decorating, reunions, and, of course, the big game, homecoming at Illinois State will always be a proud Redbird tradition.